Hi, Grayson. Uh, nice to Bonjour. meet you. <laughs> Bonjour. 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 <laughs> Buenos dias in Spanish. We're from Spain. Oh, from Spain? Yeah. Why are you in France? <laughs> because we're, okay. we're watching okay. Backlash. Backlash! Yes. yes. Sure. I, I love it. Uh, obviously, the, the the biggest change from NXT to the main roster is the travel. Obviously, we're in France today. You know, uh, by the time we get home, then we're going on to the next tour. We've got shows all over the place. So instead of driving five minutes to the NXT yeah. Performance Center, you, you're flying all over the place. But that's part of the cool things that we get to do. We get to go all over the world and, and, and do what we do in front of so many different crowds. Mm -hmm. and that, that's the fun part. But for those NXT kids, everyone wants to get called up to the main roster. Like. It isn't as easy as it, as it looks, you know. There's a lot of travel and things like that, but that's okay. I think there's a, there's a lot of names. I, I think it's, personally, I'm not a fan, but like, I know Trick Williams is a guy that has kind of transcended what NXT type it kind of is at the moment. And I think if he had been, you know, uh, drafted to Raw SmackDown, he would do very well, but I think he's gonna run NXT for another year and then we're gonna, we're gonna see him. But I, I've worked a lot down that system. I still go and, and, and watch a lot of the matches and things like that. And I think there's an in, insane amount of stars being produced down there. Well, I think the, the word superstar is a perfect example. And, and I've talked to some of the coaches down there. I think Robbie Brookside is a perfect example. He told me uh, when I first started on 205 Live, he called me the flippy guy. I don't really do flips and stuff, but you know, I was wrestling more of an independent wrestling style, you know? I wasn't performing like a WWE superstar, so I think that's the biggest difference. A world champion? World champion, individually. <laughs> this is, a, I'm a technically a tag team champion, but uh, I think I've proven now, you know, that. winning this championship, that's something that I, that, that mm -hmm. I can achieve. And, and you know, I, I see this brother here all the time <laughs> walking around with his world title, and. I think that's something that, that, that is going to come. Like I have full confidence in myself that's going to happen. The future. Yeah. I just think all this stuff is just the beginning. You know, you see what me and Theory are doing. Like we're we're, we're taking over this company. That is that is my goal. Like I, I look at all the guys and girls who are in this company right now, and there's some huge names. And my goal is to be at the top of the card. Mm -hmm. You know, I've I've main evented wrestling Cody Rhodes on Raw. But I see bigger things now that I've done WrestleMania. Those are my visions. Well, you know, I saw some politicians trying to do whatever he can to get re-elected. So he's trying to, you know, get, get people on side by getting WrestleMania in London. Personally, I think that would be a terrible idea, you know, especially already being there. Like, the weather's terrible. Like, you want your superstars happy. You want your superstars having a good time so they can go out and perform. And I think Australia will present that, not London. Well, I think it, I, I can use the example of the Australian audience is that uh, when you don't get to see it every week, it's a lot more exciting. So if you live in the US, multiple times a year, you can go and watch a WWE show. You can drive two hours and you can see Raw, you can see SmackDown, you can see a live event, you can see it so much. For these international audiences, you might get it once a year. For Australia, it might be once every five years. So when you get a show like this, you get backlash in France. This is massive. So I know the, the French audience is going to be really, really excited, hopefully wearing deodorant today. Um, I know with the French people, sometimes that can be a difficulty. Um, but, it, but it's awesome because they haven't seen it and they no. want it so bad. So the crowd kind of feeds you a little bit differently. Whereas sometimes the American audiences are like, oh, I saw this six months ago. They're not as excited. So I think the international expansion is, is important. And you have so many talents from around the world who wrestle for WWE now. Like, I'm pretty sure the roster is more international than American now. Like, we're taking over. We're taking over the whole company, lad. <laughs> Uh, I can hear him behind me, so I'm going to be polite today. Now, uh, working with Theory is a, is a joy. We're both very similar, you know. We're both very talented. We're both very humble. Um, and, and, and I think it's something that the tag division needed. You know, they needed real superstars in the division. We're sick and tired of, like, the same tag teams always doing it, so we're, we're here to take over. Okay. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you, mate. Thank you.